In Skype for Business Server 2015, the architecture for Enterprise Edition front-end pools has changed to a distributed systems architecture. In previous versions of Link Server, the back-end SQL database was the real-time data store. While this provided a central location for pool members to utilize, it also became a performance bottleneck. In Skype for Business Server 2015, Information about a particular user is kept on local SQL instances on the front-end servers, up to three. And one is the master, and the other two are replicas. The fabric manager automatically distributes the load across the front-end servers in the pool, improving performance and scalability in the pool, and eliminating a single back-end SQL instance as a single point of failure. Now let's discuss the Skype for Business Server 2015 brick model approach. In previous versions, the backend database was always a bottleneck that prevented more users on a single pool and more servers per pool. From Link 2013, the dependency between the pool and the backend is less strict. The front end servers are managing user states between each other. There are only lazy writes to the backend which are required to rehydrate a pool after a pool was shut down completely, and disaster recovery. User states are copied between the front-end servers in a pool directly. Each user belongs to a specific user group, and three server peer pool holds a copy of the data of each user group. If one of the servers is not online anymore, the secondary or tertiary server will automatically take over for the user group. To always have at least one server per user group available, you require a minimum quorum per pool. Next, let's discuss pool management. When deploying a front-end pool, it is critical that a minimal number of front-end servers are up and running to ensure that the pool is functional. The following table shows the details of pool size and the minimum running servers for the pool to be functional. If the number of servers running falls below the functional level as shown in the preceding table, the remaining servers in the pool go into survivability mode. After five minutes, if the number of running servers is still below the threshold level, the remaining servers in the pool will stop all Skype for Business server services. If servers are added to or removed from the pool configuration in Topology Builder, and then published successfully, the existing front-end servers must be restarted. The recommendation is to restart the servers one at a time. In the unlikely event that the entire pool was offline when the configuration change occurred, you will need to run a commandlet to reset the pool registrar state.